Hey everybody, Keith K here and we're back with another sandbox experience. Today we're going to check out the Tang Dynasty. Flipping over to the website, we can see that the border town of Tang Dynasty has nine quests available for us. And that will put us over uh, the 20 required for level two. So we'll check that out at the end of the video. But now let's get started with the Tang Dynasty experience. All right, and here we are. Before we get started in this experience, I just want to point out that it is probably important to play these in order as they're given. Um, I did stumble upon some quests in an another run through and um, it seemed to glitch out on me. So uh, we're just gonna go first to the housekeeper who has the yellow exclamation mark and see what quest she has for us. I need a lot of Ganoderma lucidium to make medicine. If you could go to the forest and pick some, I need five of them. You can collect it by cutting it off from its host. We can do that. <clears throat> okay, and it looks like it's in the lakeside forest below the palace. After you collect them, we're gonna go give them to the girl next to the alchemy stove. All right. So to get here, we're just gonna head down this walkway. And there's a ladder that takes us down there, but we can just jump, be a little quicker. All right, so we are looking for these trees here that have the little, sort of look like fireflies around them. We're actually gonna chop them down, it looks like. So we just need five of these. Now that didn't work. All right, and there's five. So we'll just head back up here. And then we can see there's a question mark to highlight the girl. So she's gonna thank us. And she's gonna start making an elixir of immortality. Now she gives us our next quest, which is to go find the poet invited by the king who's wandered off. She saw him near the chessboard outside the palace. I'll take a look, it's down the staircase. Okay, so we can see you can kind of see the staircase off in the distance there. We'll come back to this tank soldier in a minute. Well, actually, we, this is the one quest you can go ahead and take uh, ahead of schedule. So we need to find some coins that were stolen by thieves. And they're at the end of the waterway, the corridor bridge, the hillside on top of the mountain, and in the mine, and lastly on the third floor of the barracks. So we can gather some of these as we go through the rest of the quests. But for now, let's still deal with the poet. <clears throat> and we're gonna to talk to his guide because he's the one that has the yellow exclamation point. Okay, so he's his helper and he needs us to go to the store first to buy a jar of wine because the poet needs to be drunk before he can come up with a good poem. All right, so since you're friends of the emperor, yeah, I guess we'll do it. And we're just gonna head down here. This is the marketplace. We have merchants and soldiers and camels. But if we want wine, we need to go find the beggar and his dog. <clears throat> He'll sell us some wine. 
And actually, to celebrate his dog's birthday, he's going to give it to us for free. Now, I made this mistake earlier. Um, you can go back to the poet and he'll actually thank you for the wine, but you won't get credit for the quest. You have to collect this, I don't know what it is, wine jar um, first. And you can see now we've got one of one on buy wine for the poet. But we still need to talk to him before it'll give us credit for the quest. And you can see, you know that you've done it right if you have the yellow question mark here. Enjoy the wine. So he wants me to go tell the king um, that the people in this country are really friendly. So the king is the next person we need to talk to. We know we saw the king over here next to the housekeeper. Okay, so many years ago, he had an artist make a portrait of his wife and he, she hid it before she passed on. She was afraid that I would become too sad when I looked at it, he says, and asked her serv servant girl to send it to a secret place. Okay, so we're gonna help, we're gonna help find it. Before we do that, let's go ahead and grab this since we're kind of close. Let's take care of this thief right here. You'll see a little coin will pop up and we just have to grab it. If you don't grab that coin, you won't get the credit for it. But to find the portrait of the king's deceased wife, we've got to head up these stairs on the way to the top of the mountain. We can see that there's something over there, a little yellow bullseye, but here's a little girl. The king has never forgotten his wife. The portrait, oops, is in the stone room next to me. Now, if you come up here and this door is closed, you'll still get the message from her, but it means that you haven't activated the quest with the king first. All right, and we'll see kind of what that door would look like. We'll go up over here, because there's another quest that we haven't unlocked yet. You can see that door is closed. You can't break it down. I did try that. You can't open it. But we see that there is another thief. Let's take care of her. All right. Let's head back to the king. so he can get his portrait. And again, you'll know that the quest is properly activated or uh, giving you credit for finding the portrait if the king has a question mark. All right, so he's happy. He wants us to go to the military camp. They are going to fight monsters on top of the mountain and he needs our help. So we'll head over there, but before we do, there is another quest we can go on. Let's see. The thief. Now you could go down the market. We'll come out the way you can go in. Um, but there's a, a hidden passageway also to the waterway beneath the marketplace. It's down here. We just jump off. And we can take care of this thief. And make sure you grab the coin. Now we can't get back up the way we came, but you can go out uh, near the marketplace entrance. All right, and here we are. We're actually going to come out right next to the old man and his dog. And then we need to head to the military camp, which is up this way. And 
while we're here, there's another thief we can take care of. Let's head behind these fellas here and up these stairs. talk to the general you'll see that he's marked with a exclamation mark so at the top of the mountain there's a demon and something should be done about it and the general thinks we're the one to do it so we have to break the sword to challenge and defeat the demon and we're not afraid so we're gonna take care of it and there's also a rare type of Ganoderma lucidia mushroom at the top of the mountain, which will allow the king to have the elixir of immortality. All right, so let's go take care of it. Kill evil spirits. Before we do that, since we're near the mining camp, let's go take care of our last thief. He's hidden away back here. Looks a little bit like Kurt Russell. Okay. So back to the top of the mountain. All right, now you can see the door is open. And this little girl is going to tell us that we should not destroy the sacred sword. We're going to do that anyways, because we're tired of this. All right, now the demon's protection is gone. The door is open here and we can just quickly destroy him. It's not that tough, really. Okay, now to get the sacred mushroom. And there is a gate around it, so we're not able to grab that. But if we talk to the old man, he will tell us that he's been guarding it for a hundred years. The king's grandfather asked him to do it of all things. And only a true hero can open it, which is us, so he can finally rest. But he's also a hero. Let's give him credit for standing guard all these years. And he's gonna give us the mushroom and, so that we can bring it to the king. And you can see the gate is down, and we can just walk over. And that pretty much is it. We've got nine of nine quests complete. And if we come back to the website, we can see that we've now unlocked level three. We've earned our 50 tickets for level two, and we can see that we have to complete 30 quests in level three to gain 80 tickets. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. If you got something out of it, please do like the video. It really helps the channel, lets me know which types of videos to spend more time on. Uh, and as always, I really appreciate everybody watching and all the support. See you back here real soon.